welcome back. It's Kill the Cat Radio. Remember us? I know. Where have I been? We're going to get into it. We're going to talk about it. Where have I been? Where have I been? Where have I been? Where have I been? You don't want to know where I've been. What was that super cool line in Fight Club's like, you don't know where I've been, Lou. You don't know where I've been. Yeah, this is Kill the Cat Radio. This is episode 28. I am going rogue again off my own script because it's been a while. And the reason why it's been a while, I'm going to get into right now. We're gonna do the same format as we always do. We got the guitar. We got the cool book here that is Nietzsche, Frederick Nietzsche, Beyond Good and Evil. A lot of people, maybe they like Nietzsche, maybe they don't, I don't know. I know his sister was a Nazi. <clears throat> I know that his work was very misused. And if you study his work, you'll learn that it was more about, you have to read between the lines. If you're really gonna know about Frederick Nietzsche, you gotta read between the lines, okay? He's an incredibly intelligent man. Uh, unfortunately had a horrible demise. I don't know if you know the story, but apparently I guess the first sexual experience Nietzsche ever had was at a brothel, which at that time was pretty much the normal way of doing things. But he con contracted a certain disease and it just went, I think it was syphilis maybe. I think something like that. You know, a lot of those artists and a lot of, you know, back in those days, it was a pretty, you know, heavy deal. And I think if you have it and it's untreated and it's like stage four or whatever, you start to go mad. Anyway, the point is he died in such a bizarre way. The legend says that Frederick Nietzsche walked into the town square, touched the horse, said, I shall lie beneath the ground and you will walk in sun and then died in town square. Now, I don't know, you guys, you know, all you guys out there, you internet sleuths should check this out. I ended up writing one of my short stories called I Shall Lie Beneath the Ground and You Will Walk in Sun. Everybody's like, wow, that's a very dramatic title, Matt. And I'm like, yeah, well, you know, supposedly Frederick Nietzsche's last words. Back to the show. Got the book, hat on the wall right over here. Good luck, black hat. Welcome back, everybody. I want to go ahead and greet our 74 subscribers. Thank you for being a follower here and following this channel. To all you would-be YouTubers out there, consistency is key, and yes, I have been out of the game. All right, here's the clipboard like usual. Nothing on it. I'm going rogue. Episode 28. Uh, the boring part of it is that I had some microphone problems, okay, and I didn't have any money. That happens. Uh, I had to buy some new gear so we could keep things moving. I was recording, and it wasn't even recording. It kind of made me all nervous. After I would record for 40 minutes and then realize it went to nowhere, I guess that's what us YouTubers have to worry about. Anyways, the other reason why I did not do anything was because I was violently attacked. That's right, guys. Violently attacked. Now, I don't want to go into too much detail, and I already did a podcast about this, but you can see my eyes kind of... So it's still kind of red. My actual injuries were this tooth kind of penetrated this area here. There was a crack cheekbone right here. It was cracked. Definitely broken nose, but that's happened a million times already in my life. Uh, definitely have a scar that'll last forever. I did record some footage when I looked a little bit worse, but uh, I could definitely share a picture, which I'll do right now. Boom. See that picture? I didn't look that good, do I? No. Should I showed you, do you guys want to see the even eviler picture of me? All right, I'm going to do it really quick, but just don't freak out, guys. Okay. And I probably did have brain damage. I was concussed so I know what boxers feel like now. Yeah, I had no idea what was going on for like two weeks. <laughs> and trust me, being a person who works in public areas, it's difficult to work in a public area when after a violent attack that you look like, you know, that. Which I just showed you guys. Alright, but that's just for you guys. That's for you guys, the 74 subscribers out there. Please hit the like button if you like what you hear. Let's get into the show right now. People be like, well, what's the show, Matt? Oh, good question. Best answer I have for you guys. You know how many of you reached out to me and actually said, hey, where is the show? Point number one for episode 28 for this show is if you're trying to start something like this or you're doing a podcast or if you're doing short stories or if you're doing whatever you're doing, make sure you're consistent, especially in the realm of the internet. YouTubing, social media, consistency is key because it's kind of cool that way because, I mean, most people, most people aren't consistent, especially people that you don't know online. So if you, you know, you, you have some online friends, I mean, they don't really know who you are. I mean, you know, I'm sure it's 74 of you. Some of you know me, some of you don't. Some of you are total strangers, which is awesome. Thank you. But yeah, point one's consistency. Point two, what happened, Matthew? Yes, what happened, Matthew? Okay, why would I not be able to do my YouTube channel? Why would I not be able to do 
my work? Why would I lose money? Why would I not be able to have a job? Yeah, because I looked like that. I'll stop showing those pictures because it's gross and I don't like the way I look at all. But the reason why I'm even showing you guys those pictures of me is to know that there's real world violence out there. It's happening. It can happen anytime, any place. And it's certainly happening in a lot of places. You could see that. I mean, YouTube doesn't help with that either. Or social media doesn't help with that. Even promoting videos that express such horrible violence. And you, know, you got kids thinking it's cool. They're trying to get clickbait views or whatever from showing videos of violence and madness. I mean, it's, it is really, truly the, the lowest common denominator of any kind of environment. Think about it. I mean, like, how low do you got to be to make sure either you make a video that annoys people and gets them to do bad things? Or if you make a video that you are trying to either claim some victimhood or something like that. That's not what I'm doing this video. I just need you guys to know that. I need you guys out there to know that I ain't doing this for this. I'm doing this because many of you wonderful people out there actually did reach out and go, are you okay? So I thank you guys for that. Thank you so much for your support, your caring. One day I will release, you know, the faulty video, the one with the bad recording and the broken microphone and all that. I just don't. I mean, personally, I'm over it. You know, I was concussed. Uh, I mean, I don't even want to go into the details. I do go into a little bit of the detail in the other video, but in all honesty, no, thank you. Thank you so much for reaching out. I really appreciate it. My family appreciates it. And you know what? Hey, onwards and upwards. We're back on it again. Okay, we're back here. We're back in the fight. We're ready to record. We're ready to do more cinephilia. So we can talk about my crazy movie loves. I'm ready to get into the Literate Sunday portion, which is something that we haven't explored yet. And we got, of course, this program, Sharp teeth, which we talk about a lot of the more painful things that occur in our modern lives. Number three, and there is a number three, everybody needs to calm down. All right. Clear heads prevail. Remember that clear heads prevail. A lot of people worked up. We've been hearing a lot of stuff. I'm online all the time. I got news programs going behind the scenes every day. I work when I'm working on my short stories, when I'm working on my music, when I'm working on anything I'm working on, I got news going on in one year. I got music happening over here. I've got a radio station where I'm taking the shower. I got all kinds of stuff happening all at once, but I'm trying to tell everybody calm down. All right. Now, are there things happening these days that are not calm? This does not bring tranquility. Yeah, it's bad. It's all bad. But as I said, for the third portion, let's not let the darkness prevail. Let's not let the violence that happens to me, the violence that happens to people, the violence that happens in countries, the violence that happens everywhere, in every state, in every country, and every time, let's not let the darkness prevail. How do we not let the darkness prevail? I made a whole little new rule list that I put on social media. I actually put up around my house and my kitchen uh, sort of aphorisms that I just came up with, and I have reasons for all of them. And I'll show you a picture now, so you've got them all here. All right now, so it's new rules, so ready? And I'll show you the pictures, too, that I took and I hung around my house. Because I guess if you're in trouble, and if you want to feel positive, you have to write things on a piece of paper and put them on your wall so you you remind yourself that the world is not completely falling apart. All right, so new rule. My first one is call no one unless they call you first. I'm not going to go into these, but if you guys are curious about any of these, we will go into it. Yeah, so rule number one, call no one unless they call you. Money is the only thing that matters. Kindness is free. This is one of my favorites. Tell the truth always and openly. I like that a lot. It's hard to do. It's very hard to do. And maybe I'll go into all these things maybe in the next program, but this is kind of fun. I was throwing this out there for you guys. Uh, another one. One thing at a time, guys. One thing at a time. Every cent counts. Now, that can be taken two different ways. I meant cent like every penny counts which kind of goes to the money is the only thing that matters, but there is a small little differentiation that I'm going to talk about later, but we'll do that in episode 29, all right? I will make a promise to you guys. I will discuss the new rules next time we uh, we do this, okay? My second favorite, the past is dead. There is no tomorrow. There is no yesterday. That's what gets everybody caught up all the time. Just giving you a little teaser, 
I know. Maybe I should put this here. Like, look at that. Okay. So moving on to, and you already guessed it, the creep of the week. The creep of the week does not have to be a person, place, or thing. It can be an idea. It can be a person. It can be a thing. It can be a place. I mean, the obvious answer is to say the creep of the week is the guy who totally made my face look different, almost murdered me. That's interesting. I wish it was provoked too, because usually the, there's like there's like two reasons why most people kill most of the time, and that's you know you mess with someone's money or you mess with someone's woman or betrothed. You know, between men when they're fighting. You know, usually it's like, you mess with my girl, I got to kill you now. You mess with my money, I got to kill you now. Those are generally the things. Obviously, there's a third one. Perhaps ideals, belief systems, religions, etc. So I want to say the creepy week is this dude who who pulled this shenanigans with me. But don't worry, buddy. They know who you are. Don't pull that stuff with me, pal. I got a lot of friends out there. And most of my friends aren't as nice as I am. But the real creep of the week is using power and unjustified strength and power. I'm talking about like straight up. I'm not talking about like your basic power. Like, oh, no, I don't have any money today because I was lazy and I didn't work. I'm talking about like straight up overarching misuse of power like you have power here and then here's this other person here or place and then you just eat him now they do that in nature all the time i mean look at animals i mean like you know i actually heard scary enough that wolves when when you're dead they eat you through the through your butt that's kind of gross when you think about it you know that's animals we're not animals we're part animal yes of course we're organic beings Right. But we have a mind and we have a soul and we have a heart and we need to really focus on the positive aspects of these things. We can stop this madness. Just if everybody followed the same rule, always tell the truth, always be open and never, ever abuse your power. As I said, people will fight. I don't care about fights. People will disagree. I don't care about disagreements. People will not like each other. That's cool, too. But when you use the worst amount of violence against someone that you know can't even defend themselves, that's not going to work. And that's the creep of the week. Talk back section kind of already got started already at the beginning of the episode. So we're just going to skip that for this week. But we're still following the rules. You know, we, we got our rules here at Kill the Cat Radio Sharp Teeth. We're not messing around here. We mean business. But again, in complete sincerity, thank you so much for you guys paying attention to this podcast channel. I started it in March. 2023, a lot of people are like, well, how do you get followers? How do people subscribe to your channel? It's pretty simple. You just watch this channel, tell your friends, tell anybody. If you stumble across me, just hit the subscribe button. It's free. It's free, right? Eventually, we're going to build and we'll be bigger than we can ever imagine. But to you would-be YouTubers out there, I want you to remember, at the beginning, it sucks. No one likes you. But remember, if you have three people watching you that don't know you and they're not your mom or your best friend, it's pretty cool. These are strangers who actually want to hear what you have to say. So thank you all for getting me back on the camera, back on the mic. Got a new microphone cord. Awesome. Like us on the Facebooks and the Face Crooks and the social media platforms at Kill the Cat Radio. I am Matthew Diabate. This is Kill the Cat Radio Sharp Teeth, episode 28. Be cool, be kind. Stay curious, and remember, I'll see you next time. Be safe out there, folks.